Hi, I'm Dr. William Hummel of the San Diego Fertility Center, and this is Infertility Insights. Insights to serve you working with your fertility center. And today's topic is, why did my IVF treatment fail? Insights into this are often reviewed with individuals to help share the new microscopic world in which we live in. The answers usually lie in egg and embryo quality, but offer some other insights, such as uterine quality. So we look at the following. During a stimulation, was there appropriate hormonal biofeedback of estradiol, a special estrogen that is produced by the maturing eggs? This also tends to stimulate the endometrium, or lining of the uterus, which must be at least six millimeters to offer an expected lush bed for embryo implantation. When we see the new world of egg and embryo quality under the microscope in our IVF lab, we find this is the gold standard of success. Embryos must go through fertilization and cell division in a timely fashion with quality parameters and grades that associate with higher or lower degrees of success. Beyond the third day of fertilization, we see a transformation of the genetic code of the embryo that is very vital to success. This is where compaction and transition into a blastocyst embryo is a very sure sign of a note that the embryo has the genetic code and the well-being of quality to drive a higher degree of pregnancy. Yet at the same time, not everyone is served by a day five blastocyst embryo transfer. So looking at biofeedback of your unique circumstances of embryo development in the IVF laboratory is critical feedback to know whether IVF is worth doing again or you should really be looking at other options. Lastly, we look at the embryo transfer process itself. The surgeon must have smooth, skilled hands to place embryos that have been created into the sweet spot of the uterus using their own skill and catheter techniques. Anything that's traumatic, difficult, painful, or associated with bleeding may indicate a compromised ability and a focus to work upon for the best quality embryo transfer to deliver your success. I hope a few of those insights give you some ideas and questions to ask with your doctors regarding your IVF experience that will guide you on your way to success. Treatment improvements are always available. That may include changing medications, reducing stress, and taking a look at different techniques to do embryo transfers to optimize your unique goals of having a successful outcome. I wish you the very best in your quest for building a family. This is Dr. William Hummel.